Hey class, Mr. White here. Uh, I'm going to be reading Newton and the Big Mess, illustrated and written by Rory, Rory Tiger. Newton and the Big Mess. Pitter patter, plip plop. It was raining. Look, Snappy said Newton. Lots of big puddles to jump in. What fun! Let's go splish splashing. I'll get my coat and boots and then we'll be ready. He's got a little alligator. Newton found his raincoat and umbrella hanging by the door. Then he found one rubber boot. That's strange, Snappy, he said. I'm sure I was wearing both boots last time I went splashing. Wherever can the other one be? Newton looked for his boot all over the house. He looked in the toy box. He looked under the bed. He even looked in the bed, but he couldn't find it anywhere. I know, said Newton. It must be in the cupboard under the stairs. Newton pulled open the cupboard door a little bit and peered inside. It was very dark. He saw a huge jumble of shapes. Don't be scared, Snappy, he said. I'll turn on the light. Newton opened the door and gasped. Oh my, he said. Come on, Snappy. I'm going to need your help. Newton waddled into the clutter and started searching for his rubber boot. Newton searched deeper and deeper in the cupboard, flinging things over his shoulders as he went. Bat, bing, bong, oh, stinks, the smelly sock, wing, splat, sorry, snappy, rubber duck, wing, bing, bong. Newton stopped and held up a shiny red rain hat. I thought I lost that, he said. At last, in the deepest, darkest part of the cupboard, Newton found the missing boot. Hooray, I knew it was here, he cried. Now let's go quickly before the rain stops and the puddles go away. Newton pulled on his boot and looked at his shiny red feet. Then he looked around him. What a mess we made, Snappy, he said. But there's no time to clear it up now. We can do it later. Newton threw everything back in the cupboard as quickly as he could. He leaned against the door and with a huge heave, he shut it. Right then, Snappy, let's go splashing, Newton cried. Snappy? Snappy? Newton looked around, but he guessed where Snappy must be. <gasps> he stuffed him in the cupboard by a mistake. And Newton looked anxiously at the door. There was only one, one thing to do. Don't worry, Snappy. I'm coming to rescue you. Newton took a deep breath <gasps> and turned the door handle as gently as he could. Wham! Bam! Crash! Everything came tumbling out of the cupboard, covering Newton like a huge wave. Oops, said Newton. I thought that might happen. Look at all the stuff. As Newton scrambled to his feet, he saw just what he needed. It was a shiny helmet. Emergency. Newton to the rescue, he called, and he set to work clearing the cupboard. Crash, bang, clutter, clunk. Soon there were only a few things left in the cupboard, and Newton was getting worried. He was sure that Snappy was lost forever. Oh. <gasps> Newton picked up an old coat and was about to throw it away when he saw something. Snappy, is that you? He, he asked. Newton looked closer and sure enough, there was Snappy. Hooray! Newton gave Snappy the biggest hug. Poor Snappy, he said. All because of the big, big mess. I don't ever want to lose you again. Then something amazing happened. Newton started to put things away and he didn't stop until everything was neat and in its proper place. Now, Snappy, let's go splashing. And so they did. Look at the little red, red hat. Thank you for coming to my story time.